Hey guys, Doc Haps here. So every time you come into the urologist's office, uh, they're trying to get you to leave a urine sample and put this ultrasound onto your lower abdomen. Well, these tests might be important for you. We'll tell you what's going on. Hi guys, it's Doc Caps here with Eura Coach. So the question we'll go over today is why each time you come to the urologist's office, the nurse may ask you to leave a urine sample and they might check how much urine is left over in your bladder doing a little what's called bladder scan or bedside ultrasound. These tests are called a urinalysis and a bladder scan or post void residual test. I'm going to go over what these tests are, why they might be important, and what we as urologists are looking for um, to help guide us. The tests are relatively inexpensive. They're easy, non-invasive. Um, they provide us with a lot of information. And so the first test I'm going to talk about is something called a urinalysis. It's also abbreviated as UA. Basically, it's the same concept as a pregnancy test. There's a strip uh, that has a number of different dots on it. We dip this strip into the urine sample that you leave and there's a chemical reaction that changes the color of these dots if there's certain issues or problems that may be present in the urine. This is again a screening test. It's not a perfect test. There's some what so-called false positives. So sometimes we'll order a follow-up supplemental test if there's a positive result on one of the urinalysis test strips. So for example, the things we might look for commonly um, are something like sugar or glucose in the urine. Uh, we may look for protein, signs of infection, signs of blood. These are common things that we as urologists use to help diagnose a potential problem or issue that may be going on. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute to get these results. We can get it easily and again, non-invasively. It really helps provide a first level guide to what might be a diagnosis as to the problem you come in with. So the urinalysis is kind of a foundational test that we use. If there's any signs of something wrong, we may send it off for something called a urine culture, which looks for bacteria in the urine. We may look at it in the office or send it off for a microscopic examination to better assess for any blood cells, other problems in the urine. So the second test is called a bladder scan. It's also referred to as a PVR test that stands for post void residual test. Um, basically, it's a small bedside handheld ultrasound that allows us to assess how much fluid is in the bladder. Now, we as urologists typically want to know how much fluid is left over in the bladder after you normally pee because some folks typically will empty out to zero. So the normal bladder empties to either zero or close to zero residual urine. But many folks, especially as we age, if we have bladder issues or prostate issues, that bladder just tries to empty but can't fully completely get all the urine out. And occasionally there'll be folks that roll in and they have a lot of fluid left over in the bladder and they may not even know it. So residuals greater than 300 cc or about 10 ounces, we keep a closer eye on. It may be a problem, it may not be a problem, but it's something where we don't want that urine to back up in the bladder and cause potential problems ranging from urinary tract infections, bladder stones, if the bladder pressures are, are high and you're holding too much fluid, we worry about that fluid backing up into the kidney. So Bladder scan or residual test can provide us a lot of information that may, again, guide us as to why you're having some urinary symptoms. It's a non-invasive test. It's quick. It takes literally 15 seconds, if that, to get a quick answer as to whether the bladder is emptying effectively or not. 
and it's a, a relatively inexpensive, easy uh, bedside test. So overall, the urinalysis and bladder scan are relatively cheap, non-invasive, easy tests that we obtain routinely in the office. And it gives us a guide uh, whether things are changing, are your symptoms changing from year to year? Is there any signs of an infection? Are you emptying your bladder completely? Again, these are things that may change with each visit. So we may ask you to repeat these to ensure that there's nothing that sticks out that may uh, require further testing. So hopefully that gives you a sense of why we as urologists are asking you to do this and the rationale behind it. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos. Thank you.